Hello everyone, welcome to Stellaris. This is a game I picked up during the Steam sale. I thought it looked really cool. So I figured I'm going to give it a go. Uh, and that's it. I haven't played it yet. This is my first time even in the menu screen. So I did turn some of the stuff down just a little bit. It was kind of loud, so I turned it down just for me. Uh, new game, let's do it. United Nations of Earth. Indirect democracy. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, we got warp travel? Human, quick learners, nomadic. Commonwealth of Man. She's a woman, though. Even says female. Oh, well. Wormhole travel, red lasers. You unsponsored. They're human still. Oh, what is that thing? Non-adaptive, because he's a fucking reptile. Yuck, we're not going to do that. Oh, is this a bird? It is! Hyperspace travel, red lasers. I kind of want to be a bird. It's definitely a maybe. Yuck. He is very repugnant. I don't like him at all. Oh, that's also very repugnant. What does he have? Hyperspace, hyperspace. Wormhole. Ew. Slow breeders. I could imagine. Look how gross he is. Oh, it's a female? Oh, they're a fung fungoid. Ew. <laughs> what is that thing? Minimalist. Oh, they like to be alone. I want to be a human, I think. Obviously, we got to be Earth, right? Alright. Oh, what is that? We don't tolerate slavery? But we get energy credits. And they got a cool little ship. Alright, well... Oh, those birds are really tempting, though. Chirp, chirp. Oh, they're just always happy, I guess. Well, because they're birds. I'd be happy, too. Oh, but they don't like war. Uh, Xenophile. Let's do it. Let's start tiny. We'll do elliptical AI empires. We're not going to have any of those because I don't think they're going to... Fast light method. Uh, Iron Man mode? What is that? Alright, let's do that then, I guess. Iron Man. YOLO. Alright, I don't know how to play this. As you can see, I did not read any of the descriptions other than what species they look like. So, I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay. Much has happened since modern humans first emerged in Africa some 20,000 years ago. Our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe, and soon the first civilizations took form. Uh, not without cost. War claimed millions of lives. Yeah, that was an accident. Oh, 22nd century. Um... Uh, it's like the UN's in charge. Alright. What do we have? Ethics? Oh yeah, we don't like slaves. We're happy in our continent. Good day, Madam President. Oh, thank you. A prototype synthetic intelligence. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. What should we do? Full tutorial, maybe? Because we don't know shit. An excellent decision. You will have my full support. Thank you. He kind of looks like that, uh... What was that thing from Half-Life 2? The thing that took your picture? I forget what that was called. A little scanner thing. Alright, good to know. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. It can be a daunting task. Started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Alright, well that's good. 
First mission is to fully survey our home system. That would make sense. Our situation log. Access to click on situation log. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Sounds good. Building a star empire can be a daunting task to help get things started. I will be providing. I oh, just said that. That's what we're doing. All right. So we need for our home system before you can do other shit. Uh, select a science ship by clicking on the ship itself, or by selecting it in the vessel outlier. Then click on the survey button. Okay, where's our ship? Whoa. Okay, so WASD can do that. Oh, there's our planets. Mercury, Juno. It's a lot of weird planets I don't know. Okay. This is our Here we go, found it. In a star system. Oh, that makes sense. It needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. That also makes sense. Put the work simply right click on a not yet surveyed planetary body and select survey system. Alright. Uh let's do it. How about Mars? Wait, has it been oh shit. Where did a science ship go? I already messed up. Okay, there it is. It's got the little science thing. Um, survey system? Alright, go. Order our fleets to move. Why isn't it moving? I have to go here first and then... No. I don't want a fleet, I just want to move the science ship. Alright, maybe we'll go here? Oh, it's pause. Okay, there we go. I must have hit space by accident. See, I'm learning the game. We're getting there. Not yet surveyed. Was this surveyed? Okay, good. Oh, good. Ships equipped with this device can travel between systems at velocities exceeding that of light speed. It's about time. I'm sick of not going faster than light speed. Makes me angry. I tell you this not merely as a product of unfettered technological progress, but as your trusted advisor and, I suspect, your only true friend. Really? My only true friend? So we need technologies. Okay. Survey home system. We did not do that, did we? Oh, the whole actual home system. Okay, so I guess we'll go survey Mercury. Let's see, where is it? Right click, survey. Off it goes. We need to research new technologies. The new world pro protocol will help us construct colony ships. Technology screen. The technology screen. Here we go. We'll be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized whoa, 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 whoa. fields, with each field typically having three available research options. We can research technologies without assigning a scientist to the relevant field, but this would take significantly longer and not recommended. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Colony ship, that's what we want, right? Alright. Uh... There's a lot of work, isn't it? Oh, we need to add more? Okay, let's go this check out Earth. Of our How beautiful it is. 
provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. How many pops are living on land? How much food and resources? Governor, okay. All right, so here we see a visual representation okay. of the planet's surface, divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a pop, tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. That makes sense. Addition pop tile can also supply a support a building. Okay. Situation log updated. Planetary buildings. Oh, I have to build all this stuff or just some? We'll build a hydroponics thing. Uh, this is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. Okay, that's the army, I guess. Divided into three sections. The top section represents the orbital space above the planet. The middle section is the atmosphere. Okay. All right, so that's that. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets, build new ships, and upgrade the station itself. That's good to know. No spaceport. We can order the construction of one if we have the necessary resources. How good Earth is. Okay, so train. How do we build? I don't want to build that. Oh, we can enslave. Oh, I guess we can't enslave. So we need to build... I don't know what we're supposed to build. Adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Oh, let us take this into consideration when constructing new facilities. So, what do we have to build? Oh, no, because I have fun. Power plant. Oh, let's see if we can build a basic science lab. All right, we're doing it. Uh, how long does it? Oh, finished. You got 180 some seconds. Okay, so where's our ship? Mercury is not habitable. Okay. Let's go check out Jupiter then. Maybe Jupiter's uh, habitable. Oh, where's Pluto? Is Pluto here? Neptune's here. Look how cool that is. It's actually moving and stuff too. Not surveyed. How long does it take to survey? The resources generated by our homeworld will only take us so far. Luckily, our science ship has just found a resource deposit on another world. The time has come to use our construction ship to build a mining station. Oh, okay. So, I take it you're a construction ship? You are. ...used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object such as a planet has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. So we should maybe go do that then, I guess? We'll build a mining station right in the heart of Jupiter. Do we gotta mine or uh, survey these little planets too? Or do these count? No, we have to survey these, it looks like. Alright, where's our little science ship? God, I gotta survey all the moons of Jupiter. That is gonna take a while. There's a lot to learn in this game, isn't there? I'm not good at this at all. Not habitable. How about Europa? Oh, survey system! 
Oh! That's a lot faster. Alright, let's just do that. That would have been... That would have made a lot more sense. That's okay. We're, we're still learning the game. There's a lot to learn. Look at him go. And now we got our spaceship building the thing. How are you doing? You're gonna take a while, okay. This might be a good time to take a break. Since we gotta wait a while anyways for the stuff to build. Oh, maybe not. ...has been finished on our new planetary building. And it should now begin producing resources. Anomaly found. Oh, anomaly found. During the survey of our home system, we found something on something that did not match early observation made for homework. All right, I think we researched it. Maybe. Tiles on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their use. Clearing a tile blocker takes time and costs minerals and energy credits, but the free space often makes it worthwhile. Alright, what did we find that was blocked then? Was it Europa? Or was it this? This is still building, okay. We will take a break though, we'll pause it here. Um, so yeah, we are just in the very early beginnings of this game. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is probably a terrible video, but... Let me know what you think, if it's good or bad or what. Yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I do hope to see you next time.